Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Aussie Farming in the Philippines. Hello, you bastards! Well, another fucking good night for me. So I was up at 3 o'clock, just before 3, and um, again at 5 for them milking. So I've worked them out now. I actually sit while, while they're on Mama's titties. I, I feed the three inside first, they're sitting on the, um, inside the box. I feed them ones first. And then once they're full, then I go outside to the Mama Pig outside. I let all the babies out, and they know what to do now. You just open up the gate, and they all just fucking run through. You know, like on Chip's fucking, on Chick Chick's viral video, like she's over 350 odd thousand fucking views now. I don't know what makes a viral video go the way it does. It's got me fucked. Must be people just like milk scripting out of titties. You know, it's like them erotic fucking old porn movies, you know. We used to listen to Mountain Man's introduction music. Oh, Mountain Man. Where are you, Mountain Man? Miss your porn music, mate. Right, so, I've been up like I've done them. I've gone up the back, I've checked all the avocados and durians, that's all okay. Locked up, secured the gate open for the goats, they can go out. Picked up all the palm fronds all through here. Got the staff working this morning, them lazy fucking bastards, I tell you. Why have three full-time staff if you don't use them? You know, if they can't help chicken, we, us, you know, something wrong. So, all the baby chickens are going good, look. So I cleaned out all their trays this morning. All the old food out, dumped down on the floors over here. Fresh food in. So it's a, it's a nice idea to say babies eat as much as they can fucking gorge. You know, just like a woman with a credit card, you know, just absolutely fucking stupid. Or if a wife gives her husband the credit card and says go down to fucking the hardware store, Bunnings or fucking somewhere like that, and it's like, look out, bitch, here's a new ride on mower, here's a new fucking circular saw. Ah. Fucking A. So they say give them as much as you can, you know, un unlimited quantities. But after it sits for a day or so, then it starts to go hard. You know? So no comment there, guys. So what I do this morning is pull it all out. This, is, this one's a phone on the ground. I filled all these trays up here. And oh, look at these little ones. I need a lot right on mama's back. Right? So I've pulled them ones out, emptied it all out, and I've given them the chicken grow up for the mama and the babies. They've got this stuff here. This is the baby food, baby stag booster. Right? So they're all going well. All done and clean. Now, the piggy update. Well, mama pig, like I said, she loves me, so I can sit down with her and feed the babies. And she'll, she'll get her head up and she'll go, Ugh. so I'll just put my hand into her mouth and she'll be like, Oh, okay, thank you. We go back down again. So she's, she's relaxing. So Chick's made up a special blend of her food and given to her, and she's eaten all that up. So that's good news. All eaten up the bowl. So, <coughs> good news. The babies drink heaps. They're all right. There we go, these two. How fucking weird is this? I come out this morning, okay? He was laid over there and done a big oil spill again and her precious she was over there as well with her ass in the trough doing a oil slick so um oh look he's moving wow come on mate so maybe i have to chop up some of this food and hand feed him like i did mama so uh, he had a massive big oil spill she had a big massive oil spill but um like i said she's moving and she's eating not eating their dry food but um, she going okay. So that's one good thing, which is going well. You know, this is going well. Right, so, I talked to Chick yesterday afternoon, you know, and I said, oh, hun, I'm not fucking happy. You know, I'm not happy at all that all this fucking time and effort, money, love, that we put into all our animals can get fucked by these attitudes of the people here. I said, it just doesn't fucking sit with me, I tell you. And um, I said, um, why, again, I went into her, why the fuck has no one told us that it's at their front door? And she, she went to the, um, where'd you go? To, yesterday you went to the uh, grain shop to get all the needles and all that stuff, all the stuff. So yesterday she goes there, right? And uh, so I took her up to the main road, grabbed some bananas for the pigs, took her up to the main road on the, what's that fucking chicken doing? Ah, oh, stupid fucking bitch. No, not you, darling. Talk about the chicken. 
you fuck. <laughs> right, so so Chick goes to the um, place. I'm not going to say where because I don't want um, different going towards them. Is um, she goes there and gets the um, injection so I can stick it in the back of their neck. Their um, their yummy stuff, whatever it is. I don't know what it's fucking called. You know, all this medical stuff. You know, twenty odd fucking letters in it. So anyway, um. She's in there and she said to the um, girl that was behind the counter, she goes, you know, it just amazes me while it's not publicised. She said that this wine flu is all over fucking Panabo and um, where we are. Fuck's that. And um, the girl said, well, ma'am, I've heard on the grapevine, which is the uh, English drums, as we used to call it, the Indian drums, as we used to call it in the Middle East, that's Indian with a dot, not with a feather, right? And uh, on the Indian drums, they used to know fucking everything that was happening. You know, the Indians, like, um, they know everything that's going on. So anyway, the girl said to Chick, this is true story, the girl said to Chick yesterday, which she heard off of the um, Filipino drums, that the government did not tell anyone, or is not telling anyone, this is a conspiracy, think about this one, because last time the price of peace fell when the swine flu was in different areas. So at the moment, pigs, uh, at the moment, they're buying pigs at 180 to 200 kilogram, uh, 200 pesos per kilogram. So 200 pesos per kilogram is what, is a very fucking high price. Yet, um, if everyone knows that there's swine flu in this Tabut area, okay, in Panabo area, then of course people will want to sell their pigs fast before they die, because the government only gives you 5,000 for them. That's fuck all. So, she said, they don't want to cause a rush and a drop in the market on the pig prices, so they're looking after the farmers but not saying anything. So I said to Chick, well, that's fucking nice, isn't it? So they're looking after the farmers to keep the prices high, but they're not telling the farmers and they're all losing their fucking pigs. What's the fucking mentality of that? Answer me. What is the fucking mentality of that? Fuck my dog, okay? So they want to keep the pig prices up around the 200 kilo mark, so they're not telling anyone there's swine flu in the area. Fuck my dog. I tell you, the mentality of this thinking, you know, is like, oh, well, there's swine flu here. Everyone starts selling your pigs now, and the market drops down to fucking 80 a kilo. So fucking what? You know, the average pig's 100 kilos, you know? Not hard maths to work out that grand. Plus, the the people are also in the villages, in the cities, in the towns. Instead of paying 450 a kilo in the supermarket for fucking pork belly, they're going to be getting it back to 250 again. You know, it's like, what is the fucking mentality of this place? Seriously, some days I just got to pinch myself to say, wake up from this dream, William. You know, and as I always say, never give up your dream. Just wake up from it one day. <laughs> Ow! Fuck! Right, so there you go. True story. Save the economy. Look after the pig farmer. I'm not going to tell anyone that this wine flew. That's straight from the, well, straight from the horse's mouth. Right, so what am I doing? Well, I've done all that, so it's fucking busy. I've got to get all this done before breakfast. You know me. I've got to get all my staff working because they're fucking lazy bastards. So what I've got to, what I've got them to do now is I've got out the spray pack, okay, and I've just checked all the joints to make sure they're nice and tight. They've all got the O-rings. And what I'm using is my super duper, super duper roundup. Super duper, and this is for the creek line. So with this is 200 mils. So I measure 200 mils out in a measuring cup, pour that into this one, which is disposable, because I don't want the measuring cup contaminated, and it's taking me up to um, the inner line here. So I fill that up, fill that up, done, done, done. So I'm now going to go along and spray all along the creek line on the other side and kill all their fucking plants and trees and marijuana plants and fucking <sighs> that type of stuff. So they won't be happy, but not to worry. So I'll get all that done and um, I'll give you an update tonight on Chick's been trying to call these fucking pig people all morning and uh, she's just given up now. She's gone off to look after the goats. And she said, no one's answering, man. No one's answering. I said, all right. I said, we'll go back to the brown guy again um, this morning and just put a complaint into them and say, look, how the fuck are we going to get this controlled if you don't do anything? So they haven't got back to us. No one does. Just, no one gives a fuck, you know? Like, you know, put your head in a hole like a fucking ostrich, you know? Give the Filipino salute. 
People say, you're a racist. Well, I'm telling you the fucking truth, right? I don't have any filters. I don't have any political fucking correctness. I tell you the truth on what is happening. You know, if you can't handle... If you can't handle the truth, get the fuck out of here! Listen, is it? <coughs> hmm. All right, guys. Freight's gone. I think I need some sleep bad. Get to later, guys. <laughs>